It would have brought me love of the Saturday during Gacha? I don't think so. Okay. Where are we going that I can pull for Alakino? Where is a good place to go? Did I go into the Palais? The cemetery? I don't know where the cemetery is. Let me go into the Palais. <laughs> Let me go into Nuvillette's office. And I know we're not pulling for Risley, but may maybe the office is gonna help me. They had a cake in there. <laughs> Let me see. Nuvillette, I need you to use your office for a hot slacker. And... Okay. Let's go. Put your... Okay, wait. I, I can't... I should have made a bet before I left. You can use some some points to win or lose. Um, is it prediction? Is it that? Yes. Okay. Um, I haven't... Ah, there we go. Okay, okay, wait. Give me a hot second. Uh, will... Can I... Will we win our 50-50? Yes. No. I'm gonna let you have this for a minute. Is this working? Listen, it's been so long that I did this. There's a prediction. You can use some channel points. And this, this is literally gotcha because we don't know if I'm winning my 50-50. So, you have a minute to vote. And while this is open, I can... Oopsie. Oh, we can use my two wishes here. Let's go. This is not counting to the 50-50. This is just like two regular wishes. There we go. Two regular wishes. I got nothing. Oh, did I tell you? Uh, history. Wait. I just... I just got a Chi-Chi. Today. I was pulling real quickly today on my regular banner. We just got a Chi-Chi. So what I'm hoping is... That, um... This is pleasing the gacha gods. And this Word is Word of kinda... advice. Very rude, Wesley. And this is kind of the reason that we're going to win our 50-50 now. So this is also very loud. Let me pull this down a bit. So. Okay. Let's go. <gasps> oh my god, that's a such an early five star. Okay, okay, wait, 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 wait. Wait! Please tell me, please tell me it's Alakino, please. What the fuck? This is so unfair! Fuck off, Chi Chi! I got you today already! Oh my god! Okay, well, everyone who voted for yes, I'm really sorry. Only five star, I don't know, 30 pulls in. I already got Chi Chi today! I don't need you again! Blurge. I'm not even using you! If it would have been Tanari! Okay, well we lost our 50-50. Izal, are you here? Can you can you resolve? Okay, so this is getting boring now because now we get it guaranteed. Coming out. More Chi Chi's. I don't care about Chi Chi, I'll be completely honest. Four star. Oh man! Four star. Four star. Four star. We are seventy sixty pulls in. Seventy pulls in. There we go. Sorry, Alba. You're losing your points. There we go. I am the knave, Arlecchino, fourth of the Fatui Harbingers. Hi, Butterfly! The children of the House of the does. Hearth call me Father. Yeah. I, I also call you Daddy if you want to. No, I'm not pulling for a weapon. The weapon banner is a scam. I'm sorry, guys. The weapon banner is a scam. I don't care about the weapon banner. Daddy came home. I still have a hundred wishes left. That's that's good. 
You have a bit more than 100 wishes. So, for whoever is gonna come afterwards. Break a lot. Hmm. Okay. Out. So, Nivolet's office is not a good place. Fucking Chi Chi. Listen, I really thought, like, oh, I already got Seriously. Chi Chi today, so Don't maybe. The gods are going to be nice to me and we are not getting Chi Chi. But uh, that's apparently not the case. So, Father, where are you? There you are. Let's go. I don't know what she needs. So, we oh. just have to figure that out as we go. She needs this thing. Oh, I don't have that thing yet. I see. Okay. So we can't do anything with Father yet. Can I get her talents up? Not yet. Okay. I can get a wish down. So, we can get this. <laughs> we did more than enough wishes. And oh, oh wait, the four stars. I got you. I didn't get some money of you. And where's Freminet? Ah, there. You got a bunch of Freminets. Oh, I got Freminet complete. B -b 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 -bam. And Xiang Ling was complete before that. Okay. So, I would say let's do Daddy's quest. Shall we? Shall we, shall we? Let's go! Hey, Traveler. Paimon. Oh, Paimon knows that voice! Over here. Hi there. Let me make this a ton a bit more quiet because it's very loud. Linny! What you doing here? To borrow one of the more popular turns of phrase at the moment, this appears to be quite the fated reunion. <laughs> Running into you two out of the blue like this has really made my day. I certainly wasn't expecting it. You can say that again. What brings you to Pasol? Wait, Paimon's got it! You must be here for one of your magic shows, right? Sure. Um... Actually, we've run into a bit of trouble on the home front, so Father arranged for us to stay in Poisson for the time being. Oh, are Lynette and Fremenet here too? I, I assume so. Yep, along with most of the other members of the House of the Hearth. You may have noticed Poisson seems a bit more crowded than usual. So you're yeah. saying nearly the entire organization I, I has moved that. to Poisson? Sounds like you've run into way more than just a bit of trouble. What's really going on? Um, well... Since the two of you are so curious, <gasps> perhaps I can fill in the gaps. Daddy came. <gasps> you scared Paimon half to death! Oh, look Father, at her. You're here. Um, you know... <laughs> on second thought, maybe we don't need to know? It's all what are you guys doing the there? Confidential House of the Heart stuff, right? We totally weren't trying to pry or anything. No oh. need to be nervous. I could sense your genuine concern from your conversation just now. Of course, I can also understand your confusion. Sending so many Fatui here to Poisson, it's only natural that some might suspect an ulterior motive to be involved. Well, we are a little curious. I understand. I'm well aware you've had your fair share of confrontations with the Fatui in the past. And I can't exactly guarantee that we'll remain on good terms in the future. As for right now, however, I would say we have little reason to be at odds, wouldn't you agree? The House of the Hearth could stand to be more open with those who have worked so closely with us in the past. As for the issue at hand, well, it hardly relates to any ulterior motive. To be frank, it all stems from a certain rumor circulating around the House of the Heart. Finish prediction? It's an internal matter. What sort oh. of rumor? A rumor that a certain phantom child is hiding away in the House of the Heart. Oh, some sort of a ghost story? A phantom child? Ooh, just hearing the name is giving Paimon the creeps. 
A spirit that should have long ceased to exist is lurking in the shadows of the House of the Heart. So I decided to bring the children to Croissant before continuing to investigate the situation. I expect I should be able to track down the spirit fairly quickly. After that, it's just a matter of resolving the situation, if you will. It shouldn't be much trouble at all. If you're curious, or if you still have some concerns, it might be advisable to stick around for a few Oh, I will, I will stick around here, sure you don't worry about that. exceedingly pleased to welcome some visitors. Lenny, I'll leave you to entertain our guests. I have some matters to attend to. Oh. Of course, Father. Bye bye. I hope you're coming back soon. <gasps> I couldn't help but feel intimidated during that conversation with the maid. Now that she's gone, it feels like I can finally breathe again. Oh, you guys are. S you can't appreciate a pretty woman. Saul. She also suggested that we stick around for a few days, but why? Hmm. It has long been a dream of mine to invite you to our home and introduce you to my other siblings. You're quite well known in the organization uh, you know already. Two of them. A lot of people have been talking about you, especially after everything with the prophecy. If you're willing, why don't you stay a while and have a little chat with us? Sure. Yeah. Mm. All right. We don't have anything else to do right now anyway. But let's be clear. We're just going to be there as guests, okay? Don't get any funny... Oh, wait a second. If we're your guests, that probably means we'll be treated to lots of yummy <sighs> food, right? Of course. I'm During our stay one. in Poisson, we've been helping out the locals Poisson. with some fishing. We bring in quite the bounty every day. In fact, today is the perfect chance for me to show you what I can do in the kitchen. Let's go. I'll take you to where we're staying. Let's go. And the heart flame goes out. Oh... Okay, hi kitty cat. Hi kitty 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 kitty. I'm too big. Too much of a cake. So, so many kitty cats. Kitty 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 cat. Where are you staying here? Oh. We rented this house from one of the locals to use as a temporary base. I'll mm. come back later and tidy up a bit. After that, it should be all ready for you to stay in tonight. Awesome! <laughs> He's like, it's it's maybe a bit so chaotic in there. Give me give me a few more hours. Well, when I happened to run into you two earlier, I was actually in the middle of distributing some supplies. Oh? With this many people staying in Poisson, we have to bring in Poisson. outside supplies every now and then. I should probably make sure the rest of these provisions get delivered. Otherwise, people might start to get antsy. We can help. There are all sorts of rumors about your organization floating <coughs> around out there. Paimon's not sure if she could even take a wild guess as to what's true and what's not. But now that we finally have the chance to see a day in the life of the house, we can take a good look at how you operate. Well, you're more than welcome to come along. Just follow me. Okay, we got up. Do I need to go up in that? Probably. Da, 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 da. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Are we giving it to these kids? Linny! We're finally here! The supplies. I'm assuming you've brought them with me? Yep, here you go. Uh hello. Something caught your eye? It's the Traveler and Paimon! No way! Well, we frame us. Come here, everyone! Hurry! The Traveler and Paimon are here! One at a time, please. Don't crowd around them all at once. We don't want to scare off our guests now, do we? Oh, it's all right! <laughs> Gotta say, Paimon didn't realize we were this famous. <laughs> what, what did you of expect? Course. Father and Linny have told us so much about you. Father told us about how you helped Linny. According to her, you're a trustworthy friend. And as far as she's concerned, that's pretty much the highest compliment we've ever heard her give. As you can imagine, everyone's been very curious about you. 
I heard the traveler is so strong that she can move a mountain with her bare hands. Yeah, that's maybe an exaggeration. So much that she can clean out the entire pantry at Hotel Tafur in just three That's days. probably true. Wait a second! That's the rumor you heard about Paimon? Oh, not cool at all! I mean, mine's also a bit of a stretch, but at least, like, mine's cool about a mountain. Oh, wait! When guests visit, you're supposed to give them gifts and stuff, right? Oh, we don't need something like that. Besides, we don't have anything to give to you! Come on! We insist! I can give you some of my new potions. Just pick your poison. And by that, I mean medicine or actual poison. Do you want to pick both. Huh? Um... Or... Ha how about not poison? Uh, how about himself? not poison, huh? He's super good at it! He's never been caught. Ah, now that's not a bad idea. I know you usually prefer to fight head on, but it never hurts to expand your bag of tricks, right? When it comes to eliminating your enemies, staying quiet can go a I, long way. I can way. see how Trust we kind of like getting adopted know. into this group. I was poisoned not too long ago, and I'm still dealing with the after effects. So I'm not quite as good as I was before, but I can still give you some pointers. Um, wait, uh, when you said gifts, Hyman didn't think you meant poison and stealth tactics. But those I want are the food. best things we can give you. You don't like them? Ooh, how about this? Tell me the name of someone who really annoys you, and we'll teach him a lesson for you. The dangerous suggestion keeps on coming one after another. All right, Fold Selwar. I think that's enough suggestions for now. When it comes to being a good host, it's the thought that counts. You don't need a physical gift to make our guests happy. In fact, pestering them with suggestion after suggestion might make them more annoyed than anything. I would say your enthusiasm has certainly gotten across. Yes. Really? Very good. It's all right. Ab absolutely. Awesome. It's been so long since we have had guests to play with. If there's anything you need, just let us know. Thank you. Yeah. I appreciate Especially it. Especially if it's poison or something. I've got yeah, all I'll, sorts of I keep that in the back of my mind, okay? <clears throat> well, we'll talk to you if all later. I ever We've gonna need a uh, poison to for some all right, see you later. reason. Bye bye. You gotta go. Bye. Um, <laughs> let's see. About all that poison and stuff tactics talk just now. Mm hmm. <laughs> Scared you, did it? That kind of talk comes with being part of the House of the Hearth. When Foltz was really young, he strangled all of his family pets just out of curiosity. He was labeled a dangerous problem child and was abandoned by his family. Elwar has an unnatural obsession with potions. Father has forbidden her from trying all the different concoctions she comes up with, but she still tries to test them in secret. Mm. You really have to keep an eye on that one. Chaplot is around my age. While I'm mainly responsible for collecting intelligence, he handles surveillance. He's very passionate about his work and has no reservations about taking on some very difficult missions. I know you two probably aren't used to that kind of talk, but I can promise you they only had the best of intentions. Things sure. like stealth tactics and developing different poisons, they really mean a lot to them. They were mm. just trying to share the best of what they could offer, that's all. Mm-hmm. Not concerning at all. It's absolutely normal. I'm not concerned. Are you concerned? I'm not concerned. This is totally fine. Absolutely perfectly fine. They're just kids. Talking like kids. They have to go down here. Probably. Oh, yeah, there are more kids. Oh, God. Filial supplies are better. Thanks. Hi, Sabastar. And who are these two? I, I'm not sure what... Outsiders? You want oh, to figure out with that to command. Introduce you. This is the Traveler and Paimon. If, if you tell oh, me what you want to figure out with that command, I can maybe help you. So much about. It's nice to meet you. I heard you've traveled to all sorts of places. Is that true? Of course. We're making our way all across to that. Oh, good for you. You must be pretty familiar with Fontaine by now, then. Have you maybe? seen the new opera that started running recently? I think it 
it's called the Four Thousand Thieves. Oh, no, this is the first we've heard of it. It seems like it's going to be fantastic. Oh. Uh, from what I've been able to tell from the posters, mm. anyway. Uh, you should definitely check it out if you have the time. Okay. Oh, and there's the Blind Maiden, too. That one is supposed to have audience interaction. Seems oh. pretty interesting. That, that seems pretty interesting, indeed. As you spend some time talking about popular culture, After the atmosphere... This is over, I think I'll go get a manicure. Oh, uh, maybe I should dye my hair. Hmm. Wonder how much it'll cost. Um, too much. Is it just Paimon, too or much. do these two seem much easier to get along with than the others? Looks like Why the House of the Hearth has some normal members after all. <laughs> oh, don't don't jinx I it. Don't that. jinx it. Oh! Uh. Oops. <laughs> I'm yeah, guessing oops. you're referring to Fultz and the others. <laughs> yeah, we're definitely not all like them. I bet those crazies are practically foaming at the mouth right now. I'm sure they just can't wait to get back to Snezhnaya to carry out the plan. That's enough, Filial. What? Um, don't talk about what family plan? members behind their back, right? Whatever. Let's go. Um, okay, just I this guess. Is goodbye, then. If you ever have some time, we should go see the opera together. Mm hmm. Sure. We should do that. <sighs> well, that's it for the supplies. We should probably head back as well. Well, they didn't seem too happy with each other. Seems like there could be something more going on here. Yeah, let's, listen, this is a family matter. Let's let, let's not pry. You're right. We're only here as guests after yes. all. Oh, uh, this this is this is not of our concern. On, let's catch up. None of our concern. Linny, where do you go, Linny? So, what do you think of the members you've met so far? They certainly got a lot of personality. <laughs> well, father is always encouraging us to be strong-willed and independent. Mm, I can so see that. So, there's one thing we've got: it's people who aren't afraid to speak their mind. Obviously. Well, I should probably get cooking. Want to join? Of sure. course. Hey, then if food is involved, Paimon is all uh -huh. how do heal. Fremine, what are you doing here? Uh, well, um... Chiro! Fremine, nice to Stop see you ruining again. the curtains! Oh, uh, you too. I heard you're here as guests of House of the Hearth. Welcome. We were just going to make some food. Why don't you come along? I could use some help in the kitchen, and I seem to remember you mentioning you wanted to make seafood soup for the Traveler and Paimon. Oh, Seafood soup? Oh, Paimon is drooling already. <laughs> Paimon's drooling for, for everything food, just now, Fremini? Maybe I can help. Uh, it's nothing. I just wanted to see if there were any extra supplies. Yeah, we've got some left over. What do you need? Some food and water, and some clean cloth, if possible. No problem. Any food? Give me a second here. Food, water... Wait a minute. What do you need all of those for? You're not on any missions as far as I'm aware, and you were just going to come meet with us. So what's this all about? I... Uh... Uh, I thought I'd grab an extra portion because I get hungry at night. Could Not be sus at all. Because I'm growing, you know? <laughs> and. Uh... Mm hmm. Fremine, you remember what I told you? You're not like me. Your lying skills still need some work. <laughs> Do be fair. Tell me what's going on. That was the worst lie ever. Is it really bad enough that you have to keep it from your own brother? Be better if we gave them some space. No, 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 no. I want to listen into that one. Listen, the other family members, I don't care. This huh. one, yes. This is the first time I've seen that kind of look on your face. Whatever happened to 
Does it have something to do with father? <sighs> yes. Just uh, follow me. Oh, we're getting a wolf. Well, nice. We gotta go back up, up, up to the ship? Question mark? Yes, we're going to the ship. To the ship! And up we go. To the god. Behind the ship? I'm confused. Is it not on the ship? Is it behind the ship? Where do I go? You grab it from there, it's hiding. I'm trying. Is it with the kid? Oh wait, is it this kid? You're back! Oh, and you've brought some friends with you this time! Hello, my name's Linny. I grew up in the House of the Hearth. And you are? Hi, Linny. I'm also a child of the House of the Hearth. Just like you. You can call me Claire V. Why? I, by the way, I forgot to, to watch the new Olekino short film thingy that dropped yesterday. Doesn't she look like the kid from the animated Olekino backstory? Am I crazy? She looks a lot like her, don't doesn't she? Claire V? It's nice to meet you. Does that name ring any bells, Lenny? No, not at all. That's not a name we have on our roster, I'm sure of it. What I'm not sure of, though, is how she managed to sneak in. She must be the phantom child father's been searching for. From the looks of it, I'm guessing you were the one that found her, Fremini. You, uh, haven't told father, have you? No, I haven't told anyone. I've just been keeping her hidden. For how long? About half a Damn. month. Damn! So ever since we got to Poisson, then, do you have any idea what you're doing? Probably I know not. what I'm doing. Oh, you're sure? Really? Because from where I'm standing, it looks like you're hiding the very person father has been trying to find. If father finds out about this, everyone involved is going to be punished. You know the rules of the house, Fremenet. I know you do. Father doesn't tolerate any form of betrayal. So why are you doing this? I've thought it through. And I just can't hand her over like that. Linny, don't you remember last year? Shaplow nearly died after getting poisoned during that one mission. He wasn't able to get back before the poison started taking effect, and not a single person was there to help him. That night, while I was sleeping, I heard a voice telling me to go save him. I opened my eyes, but I couldn't find the source of the voice. I thought maybe I was just hearing things, but I went to look for him anyway. Luckily, I got there with enough time to save his life. That feeling of being haunted, of hearing voices. It's happened many times in the House of the Hearth. I'm sure you've noticed. So what you're saying is, that was her? She was the one who spoke to you that night? Unless there are other spirits roaming around the House of the Hearth, I don't think there's any other possibility. If Claire V were our enemy, it wouldn't matter whether she was a spirit or an actual child. I would have acted without a second thought, because that's what Father ordered us to do. But she's been living with us, helping us from the shadows all this time. I think that makes her family. I couldn't just hand her over to be dealt with. Not when there's so much we still don't know. So what's your plan then? You can't keep her here forever. Someone is bound to find out eventually. I haven't thought that far yet. Obviously. I don't want to disobey an order from father. But I also don't want to put Claire V in danger. Come with me. There are a couple things I'd like to say to you in private. Can we not listen in anymore? Oh, come on. Those 
two sure care a lot about each other. Yep. <laughs> well, they got a funny way of showing it. From where Paimon was floating, it sure seemed like they were about to bite each other's heads off. No That's way. called Theron. They you don't really know about that. Bond. I could tell right away, because I also have a friend like that. I just don't know how long that kind of bond can last. What do you mean? The darkness in the house runs deeper than you can imagine. No one can get out alive. I'm sorry, Liddy. That's very ominous. I really didn't mean to drag anyone else into this. Oh, really? You didn't mean to? Because I, for one, wish you did. Huh? What do you mean? You know, when we were younger, you didn't call me Linny. You called me brother, just like Lynette. We grew up together, the three of us. We were all orphans, all rescued by father. Of all the siblings in the House of the Hearth, I think our bond was the closest. Later on, when you started calling me Linny, I wasn't actually surprised. After all, Lynette and I are related by blood. We've had to depend on each other to survive long before we joined the house. Linny, I... The darkest and most difficult moments of my life happened before you and I had ever met. I'm sure that's true for you as well. Even so, Fremenay, we've stood by each other for all these years now, and to me, that means more than blood. You and Lynette are the most important people in my life. No one can replace you. So I won't let you face anything alone. Not if I can help it. Oh, I thought this was the story of Orla Kino. Apparently this is more the story of Lune. Maybe we should go check on them. No, let them have their little heart-to-heart -heart talk. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, is that lasagna? <gasps> that looks delicious. Oh my god, look at the lasagna. Mmm, I'm getting hungry. I'm just as bad as Paimon. Hope we aren't interrupting anything. Like a fight, or... They weren't oh, fighting! Fremine, you're not crying, are you? Is everything all right? Oh my god. Everything's fine. Thanks for asking. Well, we're all friends here, right? We've been through so much together, so if there's anything we can do to help, just say the word. It's just a small family dispute. It's not something our guests should trouble themselves with. In fact, it might be better if your stay ended here. But sometimes having guests around can come in handy. Uh, like, I'm good at fighting! Traveler? When guests are around, families are often on their best behavior. And any disputes are less likely to escalate. Mm -hmm. That's what you're trying to say, isn't it? Exactly. E exactly. I... It's not because I'm Just... nosy or something. Thank you. I was really hoping to keep you out of it. Nah, it's fine. But even if I could think of some other reason to turn you away, I'm not sure I could convince you. I know things could turn dangerous, so I promise you this. From now on, I'll protect you like my life depends on it. Me too. Well, oh my god, where is this coming from? If we don't plan on handing Clarvy over to Father, then our only other option is to solve the mystery of her identity before Father is able to track her down. That means finding out where she came from and what she's doing here. Then we Did can send her on her merry like way and her? pretend like none of this ever happened. I've tried that already. Okay, at least he did. But? And? And... nothing. I tried taking her somewhere really far away, but... After some time, she just reappeared. She even came with us all the way to Poisson. It seems like wherever the house is, she follows. Hmm... I don't know much about spirits. Do you two have any ideas? Listen, I'm no worse than spirit cider. Hearing something like, if you fulfill a spirit's last wish before they die, they'll let go of whatever is keeping them here and return to the ley lines. Oh, it's just that Paimon doesn't really remember where she heard that, so... So, it's not guaranteed to work or anything. Well, sounds like it's worth a shot. Guess that means we should go ask her about her wish. 
Hmm. But first, Fremini, I need you to promise me something. Are you gonna involve Lunette into this, by the way? I need <laughs> or is she just gonna be like this will stay not between the two of present? Us. We are the masterminds okay. behind this whole thing. My question is no answered. No one else gets involved. Can you do that for me? Of course. I promise. All right. Then let's seal the promise just like when we were kids. Fist bump on three. Why are they so adorable? Ready? One, two, three. Fist bump. I swear. Oh, Lynette. Okay, we are gonna involve her. Awesome. <laughs> She's so annoyed. Uh, whoa. <laughs> I love this. What, what a surprise. <clears throat> what brings you here, dear sister? Yeah, she she's not amused. Understandably. And uh when exactly did you get here? You're an idiot, brother. <laughs> um the lion and delivery. You too, Fremine. Uh... You three, Traveler. And you four, Paimon. What? what? I, I wasn't part of any of this. I've seen Clairvy around the House of the Hearth before. I hadn't seen her in Poisson, so I figured she must not have come with us. But it turns out, you were just hiding her. I heard you talking about your plan. Rather than steering clear of the situation, I'd rather fully join in. If you don't agree, I'll have no choice but to report everything back to Father. Simple as that. <gasps> She's like, you either let me join you, room here, or Lynette. this whole thing is not gonna happen at all. Well, I guess we're all in this together then. After we talk to Claire V, we'll figure out our next move. There's no time to lose. Let's go. Okay, let's talk to the little kiddo. Little kid, what's your wish? Come here. Wow, I was able to make like three steps. Is she doing lasagna? Uh, I'm full. Thank you for you bringing haven't me even to tried school, it. Um, she said she's full, but the food doesn't look like it's even been touched. Oh, it looks really good. Oh, I want lasagna now, guys. This is this not good. Well, she's a spirit. That's right. Based on what I've been able to observe, it doesn't seem like Clairvy can interact with the physical world at all. Still, when she's presented with food, she'll always linger around it for a good little while. Maybe, in her mind, she really is eating those things. Does she know that she has already passed away? I've tried to ask her, but she didn't answer. My guess is that she's just as confused as we are. Or... Maybe she couldn't understand the question at all. Clairvy, if you've got some time, I'd like to ask you a few questions. Sure. Oh, another new friend. Hi, I'm Clairvy. Hello. Clairvy. How did you join the House of the Hearth? Huh? Isn't it the same for everybody? The knave brings you here and then you can't leave. It's just that your name, it's not on the roster. And I've never seen you before. The roster? Oh, I get it now. I think there might be some things you don't know about this place. The people in charge, they're not as nice as they look. They say they keep a roster, but it's not complete. There are a lot of people who aren't on it, and never will be. In this house, some people are family, and other people are just test subjects. Those kinds of people aren't ever going to get a place on the roster, mm. unless it's the roster of people who've been executed. Wait, does, does that mean the name... she... Is there anyone that can vouch for you? Mm. Perry, she's my best friend. 
She's the only one I trust in this place. Have either of you heard of that name before? No. You know. Neither. Claire V. Perry. Neither of those names are on the roster. Yeah, but probably both are test subjects. Seems like she's telling the truth. Either that, or this kid's Dude already off. got a bag of tricks bigger than mine. Hmm. Maybe we should try a different approach. Claire V, do you have a wish? A wish? It can be anything you want. Just imagine. It's your birthday, you're blowing out the candles, and your wish is... It's thinking. It's thinking hard. To... To go outside, where the sun can find me. That's a very sad that's wish. it? Well, that sounds easy enough. The darkness in the house runs deeper than you can imagine. No one can get out alive. What did she mean by that? This can't be that simple. Okay, time to divide and conquer. Listen up. I've got a plan. That was very fast. I'll try and find a way to use basic illusory magic to take Claire V outside and bring her somewhere with sunlight. Hmm. Lynette, try and find the list of executions that Claire V was talking about and see if her name is on it. Fremine, you stay in Poisson. We can't be the only ones who've had run-ins with Claire V. I need you to collect intel on everything she said and done. Understood. I'll try my best. What about us? What should we do? I really appreciate your willingness to help, but this is a family matter. I don't want to drag you in too deep. It's too risky. But like, I'm already here. I Use think. me. Since father considers you, know. you to be guests, oh my God. maybe you could stick by her side for a little while. I'm you don't so need sorry. to do anything to except keep cat. up some nice casual conversation. Can you stop being a nuisance? Can you? Oops. My goodness. Can you stop it? Oh my God. Sorry. Ah, oh, Paimon gets it. You want us to distract it. How should we contact you? I'll give you a magic bird. If oh. father suspects something, all you need to do is release it when she's not looking, and it'll alert me that something's wrong. Easy! Of course, that's only as a last resort. If father doesn't seem to notice us, there's no need to make contact. We'll reconvene here tonight after all said and done. Okay, If cool. the worst case scenario happens and we're discovered, just tell father everything. We're not going to let our guests get punished for our own actions. That's where we draw the line. Be careful. You too. Okay, this is where we part. Father should be at the beach nearby. I really hope this goes well. No, it has to go well. That's the only way this can get resolved. What could go wrong? Possibly everything, but uh, let's, let's let's not question that. We have to go outside. So let me. Oh my god. Let me teleport here. Let's get out. Da, 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 da. Oh, oh, oh. I have to go to the beach. God. It's been so long that I properly played Genshin. All my attention lately goes to Honkai. Is that Child? <gasps> Wait, Child is in this quest? Oh my god. Everyone's here! Let's go. It's the Knave and Child! Hi there. Did you get your vision hey, back? Aren't you supposed to be in Snezhnaya recuperating? What are you still doing in Fontaine? Oh, it's you two. I didn't expect to run into you here. <laughs> are you okay? I was unconscious for quite a while after the fight in the Primordial mm -hmm. Sea. After I woke up, I realized I was being taken back to Snezhnaya. And well, 
I couldn't have that now, could I? Not when I've still got unfinished business here in Fontaine. So, I mustered up all my strength and made the journey back on my own. What sort of unfinished Seems business Seems like a stupid idea, but sure. It has to do with Skirk, my master. I really wanted to meet up with her, mm. but by the time oh, I got you back, she already club. left. I still have so many questions for her. Without any other leads, all I could do was ask the knave to help me track her down. She must have left behind some traces from her time in Fontaine. Mm. Oh, okay. So, have you found any clues? Unfortunately, no. While the House of the Hearth is adept at collecting all manner of intelligence, certain existences can still manage to escape our purview. Basically, unless Master feels there's a need to meet with me, she's not going to be found. <laughs> but wow. that problem has an easy fix. I just Does need it. to become stronger, and then... <coughs> uh, yeah, you should I maybe, like, chill out for us all first. first. <laughs> the worst of it is over. It's all thanks to that one kid from the House of the Hearth. Elwar, I think her name was. She gave me a bunch of random potions to drink. They didn't go down easy, let me tell you. Yeah, Pain because... And chills mm, all over. But they really did help speed up my recovery. I, I would also and accept a bunch of it looks random like I potions really do have from a to kid. Head back this time. The old man's been putting the pressure on me. He sent someone to tell me I'm needed for some sort of project. Project Stuja? Yeah, that's the one. I heard Regrater's involved too. I'm not looking forward to having to listen to all his monologuing, that's for sure. Hey, maybe you could think of a way for me to stay in Fontaine for a little longer. Helping Linny and the others brush up on their fighting skills would be far more interesting. If you and I could spar, that would be even better. Oh my god. I've been waiting for a chance You're not to even see on your two feet out. properly yet. And what a sweet little daydream that is. But I also have a role to play in all this. I'll be leaving Fontaine shortly as well. Besides, considering how little they see fit to step outside the homeland, being called on to return to Snezhnaya by such illustrious dignitaries. What a great honor. Wouldn't you agree? <laughs> One I could do without, I'd say. <laughs> Sal doesn't want to go home. Uh, is it just Paimon? Or does it kind of seem like they're... Scarfly trash-talking their colleagues behind their backs? So, dear guests, Listen, that's how you off. work. To what do you I trash talk your colleagues behind your back? Um, well, we just um, wanted to learn more about you. Right, we're super close to Linny and the others, but we still don't know much about you. How many you are the worst Is liar so? ever? Introductions have already been made, have they not? Oh, uh, well, you see. There's only so much you can learn about someone from a short introduction. At least tell us something a little extra, like... Why do you call yourself father? Huh, good question. I'd also I like guess to it's know. a bit personal, isn't The fact it? that you have to ask tells me our intelligence work has been quite successful. Telling you the answer to that question would only serve to undermine that success. And we can't have that, now can we? He's like, bitch, I ain't gonna like tell you. Spoken like a true diplomat. That was some expert sidestepping right there. Well, if there's nothing else, I think I'll take my leave. I still have a small matter to resolve at home. Uh, uh wait, do go! I swear to God. This is... We're acting. Absolutely. Sus. Like, listen! She is really good at collecting intel and reading people. Like, please. This is just weird. If the knave leaves right now, she should run into Linnea and Clary. Should I release the bird Linnea gave us? No, we should try to get her talking about something else first. About the house of hearth. <laughs> I'd also like to hear the Hi, answer to Ari this. Hi, Arigatou. Welcome, welcome. I've met some of the members of your organization, and they all seemed like really good kids. They actually reminded me of Tonya and Tusser. Which, by the way, if you ever betray them, I'm just letting you know, I won't let you off easy. And why would I betray them? Well, you've already betrayed the House of the Hearth once, haven't you? At least, that's what I heard. 
Ooh, hmm. ooh, don't don't step, don't mm, step too far, sweetheart. Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, I pedal admit, back. That's just what the old man told me. The rooster, I mean. They betrayed the house of heart. Does that mean what Clary said was true? Does the neighbor like treat her children like test subjects? Wait, did you really do something bad to those kids? Never mind what I've done. I'm more curious as to what the mighty rooster had to say. Care to enlighten me? Ah, oh, well, she, she's much. so angry. Just some stuff about you taking out many other members of the House of the Hearth, and even going so far to attack your own family. Hmm. I see. Oh, based on your reaction, I'm guessing it's all a bunch of lies. Hardly. I don't appreciate his particular turns of phrase. But I suppose he didn't say anything untrue. Although, it would be more accurate to say that there is a certain level of prejudice involved. But I don't intend to clear that up just yet. Prejudice has a funny way of concealing the real truth behind certain things. An attribute that I find to be quite advantageous. Call yourself a Fontanian, for example, and people will assume all sorts of things, when the real truth is that this is simply the land where I was raised. Huh? You're not actually from Fontaine? But then why did you try to help out with the prophecy and everything? I was trying to protect the children born in Fontaine. Claiming that I myself was a Fontanian simply made it easier to operate. Mm. People would hardly suspect a fellow Fontanian of having any ulterior motives. Who wouldn't want to save their homeland after all? The Primordial Sea wouldn't have any effect on me, but it would have caused great harm to the House of the Hearth. Well, you wanted extra information, didn't you? There you go. I hope that satisfied your curiosity. Absolutely. So much for learning anything else about her betrayal. She probably only revealed that other secret in order to change the subject. It seems like she's trying to avoid talking about her past. Understandably, so, she's probably traumatized by it. I guess I was wrong to believe you'd betray them. Apologies. Looks like I was holding on to some prejudices myself. Good. Like I said, I like it when others have misconceptions of me. Actually, Sh while sure. I was recuperating at the House of the Hearth, there was something else that really caught my attention. Mm. I heard that members always resolve disputes and arguments with a friendly spar, and the loser has to back down. Seems pretty cool if you ask me. Would also give them plenty of opportunities to hone their skills. Well, that's only a recent development. In the past, such spars weren't nearly so... friendly. The losing party would lose everything. Including their life. They were that high stakes? Yeah. Whew, at least that's not a thing anymore. Well, the current atmosphere is not half bad. I'm a bit jealous, actually. You've got so many family members around you, and you even get to live with them. Having a lot of family around means dealing with a considerable amount of bickering and scheming. Once Tonya and Tusa enter their it, rebellious Jazz? ways, I'm sure you'll understand. Just imagine. Can you stop? Tusser becomes obsessed Kido. with plucking out strands from the rooster's mustache, or Tonya decides to dye her hair forty-two different colors. <laughs> you can literally okay, see the strands okay. in Charles' face. I get the picture. As the conversation shifts to the topic of Tonya and Tusser, Shal begins to. It's the type of conversation that would usually leave you falling asleep, but you find yourself grateful uh, for child well, and would you something. Look at the time. I should probably get going. Traveler, Paimon. I'm not sure where our paths will cross next, but the next time we run into each other, we should definitely try and find some time to spar. <laughs> Absolutely. Please um, get well first. Again, maybe this is a conversation we can have when you look less like you're gonna kill over. All right, all right. Well, That's a nice way to put that. Arlequino. No thanks necessary. You also played a part in obtaining the Gnosis. I would say we can call ourselves even. <laughs> I like the sound of that. Well, I'm off. See you all some other time. Bye bye. Um, we should probably get going too. Can you Do stop? Do you want to head back with us? Oh, you want me to leave so soon? Oh, oh she actually caught I... that. Well, you see, um, 
I'm rather enjoying the evening breeze. If you don't mind, I think I'll stick around mm -hmm. for a bit. I have some things to think about. Sure you Apologies do. Apologies for not attending to you like a proper host. Please forgive this slight. I do hope you'll have a pleasant stay. <sighs> we managed to keep her distracted until nightfall. Good thing Child was there to keep the conversation going. You don't think she suspected anything, do you? How pretty she is. Oh, I wonder if Liddy ran into any issues. Let's hurry back and see how everything went. Yeah, in a second. I gotta talk to Daddy one more time. Oh? You decided to stay a little longer. Absolutely. <sighs> Let's take in the ocean view together, then. Look, we're on a date. Sunset. We're out the ocean. We're even having matching outfits. Look at us. I'm, my baby big. I, I don't have the traveler equipped. I'm sorry. Okay, gotta go back him. Let's see what they did. Do I have to go back to the ship? Probably behind the ship. But let me don't die again. Let me not die again. Let me not die again. Hi, Doggo! Are you a good boy? I bet you are. Wait, is it in front? It's, it's in front, it's not behind. Wait. Look at them! Hello, hello! Lenny! How did everything go? Everything okay? Well, long story short, we oh, ran no. into a small issue. Oh. Claire B can't go into the sunlight. What do you mean? Exactly Everything was fine up. at first. She followed me up to the surface just like I told her. Okay. But as I let her out of the shadows and into the sunlight, she vanished. That's I turned around and there she was, vicious? standing at the edge of the shadows, silently watching me. Huh. Maybe she's afraid of sunlight, or... No, it wouldn't be her wish if that were the case. Hmm. Well, we could always try pushing her into it. No, not sure pushing works in a non-corporal being. Oh, true. Also, that's just rude. I pretty much tried it all already. Nothing worked. Eventually, the sun went down, so all I could do was bring her back here. <sighs> How did it go with you, Lynette? Good. I've got the list. It's right here. Really? Well, what are we waiting for? Let's take a look! Yeah, let's do it outside where everyone can technically see us. Oh, that's a lot the of menace. pages. Oh, it's, it's gonna here. take forever to get through it all. We can each take a section. Here. I can read, give me some. La Pouillade, Landois, Chambel, Aurere. <laughs> oh, yikes. That Aurere guy has a huge scar on his face. He's kind of given Paimon the creeps. You're a terrible person, Paimon. Oh, I've met him before. The scar is from an injury he received during a mission. <laughs> I still remember him joking with me about it. He said any future lover would take one look at him and then lose all interest. Did he say anything else? Well, I asked if there was someone he was interested in. He said no, and that's where our conversation ended. <laughs> Wow. It was only later that I learned he really did have someone he liked. He risked everything to escape so he could be with her, but it didn't work. One day, father asked to see him, and, well, I never saw him again after that. Wait, so that means... Yeah, that's healthy. If she... It may seem cruel, but it's just one of the rules of the house. Betrayal is not to be taken lightly. We know too many secrets to come and go as we please. So if you do try to leave, you pay with your life. 
The solemn atmosphere descends over the group. Her name's not here, huh? Well, that's not too surprising. It doesn't seem like this list is complete. It only contains records dating back around five years. Let's shift our attention then. Fremini, were you able to find anything out? <sighs> Fremini. What are you thinking uh, about? Sorry. I was thinking about something. F think out loud. I managed to talk to quite a few people, but I couldn't help but notice that the atmosphere in the house was a little. strange. Strange? Well, why? Yeah, I mean, I know there have been arguments in the past, times when people haven't gotten along. Chaplo and Filial are a good example of that. Oh, those are two of the people that we met while delivering supplies. Paimon can see how they might not get along. They had very different vibes, and their, um, interests seem to be pretty different as well. That's to be expected, actually. Father brought us all here, shared her knowledge with us, taught us how to fight. That's one thing we all share. But that's also where the similarities end. Not all of us feel the same desire to stay here. As members of the House of the Hearth, we're also considered part of the Fatui. And to a lot of people, that's an identity they never asked for. Certain members get older and realize they want something else for themselves. But considering the rules of the house, most people would never say that out loud. People like Chaplo and Foltz are loyal to Father and her vision. They're proud to be part of the Fatui. Filial and Nantoy, on the other hand, well, they aren't quite as enthusiastic. These kinds of conflicts have always been there. It's not like Father is in the dark about any of this. Well, that's true. But it just feels like things have gotten worse lately. Filial and the others... It seemed like they were meeting in secret to talk about something. Oh. I can't say for sure, but I think they've met Claire V. You think she's been inciting them to act out? No, not exactly. But I wouldn't be surprised if she said something to them about... the darkness in the house. And how deep it runs. She's told me about it before. Experiments being run on children. People being used as pawns on the battlefield without so much as the strength to survive. Mm. And they just believed all that? Without any evidence? I, I mean... Claire V's words probably gave them the excuse they were looking for. Whether they actually believe them to be true is secondary. This is all because of Project Stuja, isn't it? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on a second. What's this Project Stuja all about, huh? This is the second time it's come up now. Sorry, but I'm not sure of the details either. I only know what Father has told us, which is that it's something the Rooster and Regrater have been working on together. Apparently, it has to Who do the with the Fatui's strategic plan for the future. Because the House of the Hearth was so successful in obtaining the Gnosis, we now have the honor of playing a key role in Project Stuja. Wait, but Yay. isn't that a good thing? No! Key role is just another way of saying dangerous role. To us, the whole thing is an inconvenience. Father thinks so too, but she's in no position to refuse. Their plan isn't exactly unreasonable, and they've been funneling the house a lot of funding. It's just that we'll lose a lot of members in the process. Participating in the plan, it's an honor in name only. What they're really trying to do is subdue us. The existence of an intelligence organization outside their control makes them feel uneasy. Looks like the Fatui are plotting something big. Given how little Linny and the others seem to know about it, I probably won't be able to learn much. I should keep a sharp eye out during any future dealings with the Fatui to see what I can learn. Okay, super complicated top secret Fatui business aside, what does all of this have to do with the conflicts you were talking about earlier? Paimon doesn't get the connection. External pressure has a way of exacerbating internal strife. 
You can't overlook the power of fear either. People are afraid of dying. And that fear is often the impetus for a lot of stupid decisions. I thought resolving the Clairvy situation would make everything go back to normal. But it looks like things are more complicated than I thought. If we leave Filiol and the others to their own devices, sooner or later, Father will be forced to take action. We can only focus on one situation at a time, brother. Can you not? Right. Even if we confront Filial and the others, it won't do any good. Stop it. It might even make matters worse. We should focus on Clairvy for now. Well, it's getting late. We should head back and get some rest. We'll try again first thing tomorrow. If it's not too late by then. Lynette, you stick with me this time. Fremenet, keep a close eye on Filial and the others. Make sure they don't do anything they'll regret. Good you work mean today, the regret of their lives, huh? Have a good night, and I'll see you tomorrow. Till till tomorrow, I guess. I have to. Where do I go? Oh, can I go in? The man rests with all sorts of thoughts, <laughs> just I like this tax is racing. Really night, but she can't sleep at all. I. Hey. You don't think the knave will be too angry with Linny and everyone if she finds out about all this, do you? She's even scary when she smiles. If she were to actually get angry... Ooh, you have to protect Paimon if that happens, okay, Traveler? I'm also afraid of her. Oh, well, in that case, we should just plan on running away. We'll grab Linny and the others and we can make a break for it as fast as we can. <gasps> sure, because that seems like a reasonable thing to do. What's she doing over there? Quick, let's catch up with her before anyone sees. I thought we were supposed to go and sleep. This isn't sleeping. It's far away from going to bed. Well, I'm ponderous. According to plan, exactly where I wanted to go. A hundred percent. Don't you worry about us. We have to go over there. Over the bridge. Clary, where are you going, little girl? Over there. Yep, I see her. I uh, do not see her anymore. She literally turned into thin air. Where is she going? Oh, if someone sees her, we're toast. Are we? I don't know why we would be toast. We have nothing to do with this. Oh, look! She stopped! Mm hmm. Hey, little girl, uh, what you doing there? Watching the moon. Window? If only I could have more than this. You probably think I'm being silly, huh? All this hopeless resisting? It's better to dream of what I could have than try to make it a reality, right? Please, help us get on the same page here, Clary. We need you to tell us what you know. Can you do that? Yeah, give us sure. some intel. Although, after you hear all this... I think you might regret that decision. Everyone mm. in this family is nothing more than a tool. Something to be used and exploited. We're all expendable. Including me. My theory is... I, listen, I'm not 100% sure, but I think that was the kid. From, like, the past. The friend with Olekino, that girl. I think that was her. Not 100% sure, but I think that was her. And I think she still thinks she's like in the previous part of the, that, that, that thing. I forgot his name already. That group. And I don't think that Olekino is doing exactly 
what her predecessor did. I don't think so. I'm not saying Alekino is a good guy, but I don't think she is that harsh and manipulative. I'll be honest. As long as you're useful, I think they're misleading us on that. Lose your value, and you're handed over to the doctor, experimented on, and given a fate worse than death. I've seen it happen again and again. What is it that you guys I've said? Had enough. You're saying the knave did all that? It's just that doesn't seem like something she would do. Uh, she's scary and all, but it seems like even she has lines she wouldn't cross. Yeah. Hm. I knew you wouldn't believe me. Everyone thinks she's a good person. They all think of her like a real mother. Mother? You see? You see? But she doesn't deserve that title. She's disgraced it, mm -hmm. tarnished it. And if it's I had the previous head. I'd never see her again. If only Perry were here, she'd understand. Is Alakina's name Perry? There's that name. That would again. be so fucking hilarious. Also, Paimon's getting a strange feeling. It almost feels like she's not really here with us. Paimon can't tell if she's actually talking to us or if she's mistaken us for someone else. I'm not sure either. Mm. Well, in any case, it seems like she really needs someone to talk to. We should keep her company for a little longer. She looks so young. But it seems like she's been through a lot. <sighs> it's getting windy. I should close the window. Ooh, look at the moon. Isn't it pretty? Hey, wanna hear a secret? I heard that if you look up at the night sky in Shnezhnaya, you can see the aurora. It's supposed to be super pretty. Even prettier than the moon tonight. I love to see it. Perry and I promised each other that once we're older, we're gonna go see it together. But I can't find her. I'm worried she's also been... No, that wouldn't happen to her. She's special. Mother likes her a lot. I should really go talk to Mother, but we just fought. She doesn't want to see me, and I'm too scared to face her. What should I do? After some time, Clary seems to come back to herself. There's a weak smile <sighs> on her face. really doesn't understand what's going on with her. Well, let's head back. We've got an early morning tomorrow. I tell you, that's going to be the big trot twist, that it's not Alekino they talk about. All right, looks like we're all here. Let's go ahead with the plan. I, I have a question. Oh? What is it? Have the knife and the doctor ever worked together? What makes you ask that? Well, we kind of ran into Clairview last night, and... That's what she told she us. She also told us about he mother, not father. That's the difference. Dangerous, and he's done all sorts of bad things. It's possible that father and the doctor have had certain dealings, but I don't think father would work with him. Mm -hmm. We're not really on the same side, so there's not a lot of trust between them. That doesn't exactly set the stage for a successful partnership. I did hear, though, that when Father first became a Harbinger, the Doctor offered to work with the House of the Hearth. Father rejected most of his proposals, except for one. It had to do with some sort of secret experiment. Probably on secret her? Secret experiment? Could that be what Clarvy was talking about? Mm, I don't think so. I don't know any details about the experiment itself, but I do know it's an entirely independent operation. The doctor only proposed a direction for the research. That was the extent of his involvement. I still don't think that counts as working together. The details of the experiment are confidential, but mm. complete records are kept on all participants. That doesn't seem to be the case with the situation Clarevy referred to. I know you don't agree with some of the Fatui's methods, and I'm not asking you to. But Thanks. I am asking you to trust us on this. The House of the Hearth has its own principles. Mm -hmm. There are certain lines we're not willing to cross. 
I tell you, this is all, all right, misleading. This is misleading you to think all I know is a real little baddie. The and the but she's just, just a regular baddie. Horrible. If that turned out to be true, Paimon doesn't know how he would even face you guys. It's just that it doesn't seem like Clarvy is lying either. She's coming from a different timeline. The easiest thing to do would be just ask the name directly, but Paimon doesn't think she'd tell us. Let's focus on the plan for Father now. Didn't what come was back our plan? Last night. She's had probably had still near the shore. We'll be counting on you to distract her. Lynette, Because we did me. such an amazing job Femine, the first time, you know she's gonna do. know. Be on your guard, everyone. All right, let's get to it. Mm-hmm. What could po possibly go wrong? I don't know. I really think this is a terrible idea. I said it. Let the record show I said it. This is a terrible idea. It shouldn't be me who does this. It really shouldn't be me. 